Laboratory Experiment Number 2 Visual Classification and Identification of Soil Objectives To equip students with the skill of visually classifying soil To introduce to the students the different property needed to classify soil Importance Visual method of identification and classification is important to determine the type of soil as most minor structures and occasionally some major structures is based solely on the information obtained visually. This method is a combination of both field and laboratory tests and is accurate. This test must be done by one who is familiar with the criteria used in visual description and classification of soil, equipments or materials. Magnifying glass it is optional. Paraffin or candle wax. Disturb soil sample in glass jars taken from top, middle, and bottom layer of experiment number one. Half of the content and cover again the lid with a paraffin or candle wax. Procedure 1. Identify the color, for example, brown, gray, brownish gray, odor if any, and texture, coarse or fine ivory, of soil. 2. Identify the major soil constituent. More than 50% by weight using table 1 as coarse gravel, fine gravel, coarse, coarse sand, medium sand, fine sand or fines. Estimate percentages of all other soil constituents using table 1 and the following terms. Trace is 0 to 10% by weight, little 10 to 20%, some 20 to 30% and 30 to 50%. 4. If the major soil constituent is sand or gravel, identify the particle distribution and describe as well graded or poorly graded. Well graded soil consists of particle sizes over a wide range. Poorly graded soil consists of particles which are all about the same size. Identify particle shape, angular, subangular, rounded, subrounded, using figure 1 and table 2. 6. If the major soil constituents are fines, perform the following tests. 6.1 Dry strength test Mold a sample into 1 8th of an inch size wall and let it dry. Test the strength of the dry sample by crushing it between two fingers. Describe the strength as none, low, medium, high, or very high depending on the results of the test, as shown in Table 3A. 6.2 The latency test Make a soft puffy sample in your palm, safe with the consistency seen on the photo below, and absorb the reaction during shaking, squeezing, by closing hand and vigorous tapping. The action is rapid, slow, or none according to the test results given in Table 3B. During the latency test, vibration densifies the silk and water appears on the surface. Now on squeezing, shear stresses are applied on the densified silk. The dense silk has a tendency for volume increase or the latency due to shear stresses. So the water disappears from the surface. Moreover, silty soil has a high permeability so the water moves quickly. In clay, we see no change, no shiny surface, in other words, no reaction. 6.3 Plasticity or Toughness Test Roll the samples into a thread about 1 8th of an inch in diameter. Fold the thread and re-roll it repeatedly until the thread crumbles at a diameter of 1 8th of an inch. Note: The pressure required to roll the thread when it is near crumbling, whether it can support its own weight, whether it can be molded back into a current mass, and whether it is tough during kneading. Describe the plasticity and toughness according to the criteria in tables 3C and 3D. A low to medium toughness and non-plastic to low plasticity is the indication that the soil is silty, otherwise 
the soil is clay based on dry strength, dilated sea and toughness, determine soil symbol based on table 4. 7. Identify moisture condition, dry, moist, wet or saturated using table 5. 8. Record visual classification of the soil in the following order. Color, major constituent, minor constituents, particle distribution, and particle shape if major constituent is coarse grain, plasticity if major constituent is fine grain, moisture content, soil symbol if major constituent is fine grain.